Hi, my name is Brandon. Welcome to the Yodeling Loon 1000 subscriber celebratory video. Wow, I never expected to make this video. And I never expected to have visited so many malls. I have produced videos on nearly 50 different malls. I included one mall I haven't finished yet to get to an even 50, but it will be released soon. 50 malls. Yes, yes, I know your favorite dead mall video creator has more videos, but I'm still amazed that I've visited so many malls. I'd like to now give thanks to several people who have helped me along the way. I want to thank my parents, especially my dad, who chuckled when I showed him an early video, and now really enjoys them. Thank you to my sister, who let me use her loon photograph until I could afford to pay an artist. A big thank you to my wife for putting up with me leaving her behind to go on weekend road trips. Thank you to my friends who also put up with me driving around instead of hanging out with them at cabins we've rented. One of those unnamed friends filmed me walking out of the Viking Plaza with the cardboard cutout of Kevin Costner. Thank you to those who let me use their photograph collections, videos, or well-researched histories on my tours. Thank you to the people who have inspired me along the way. First, Melissa who ran the Dumpy Strip Malls blog. I loved reading your blog over and over again at work. I want to thank Jason and Ross of Labelscar.com. I would also spend hours reading articles and comments on Minnesota malls. Dan Bell, everyone who makes mall videos has been inspired by his work. In addition to his great videos, I recall an interview where he mentioned a former mall that had no video or photographs of it taken. He started filming malls to capture them while they were standing. I wanted to help continue that work in my part of the country. Ace's Adventures, he has made so many great videos, but what inspired me was a comment he made that he wanted to film every mall. That is why I film every little mall I find. They may not always be exciting malls, but every mall is important to someone. Kristen from Unicom Productions. She has always been encouraging of my content. She also inspired me to slow down my videos and let an audience absorb every nook and cranny of a building. Sal, the creator of the Xlog series. Sal has not only been encouraging, but has given me wonderful technical advice when I was stuck. I am so glad he set up the Dead Malls of Discord server, where mall fans can gather to hang out, share retail information, and make each other laugh. Speaking of Dead Malls of Discord, Thank you to 10 Pound Hammer and Phoenix for helping me with my research. They have shared the history of Minnesota malls that I'd never heard of before, and are sadly lost to time. Thank you to Ross Parker for creating my retro logo that looks like it belongs on an old matchbook. Thank you to the two vocal Minnesotans on DMOD, Brandon Powman and Hunchback Hipster. It has been fun trading photos. An extra big thank you to Brandon for first calling me the Bob Ross of Dead Malls. Thanks to everyone else in the DMOD seal. Jack from Retail Apocalypse, John Rev, Nick from Calder Rainbow, Adam from Vintage Spaces, Avery and Debbie from Neon and Rust Productions, and Brand Dead and Ally from The Brand Inn. Thank you for inspiring me, encouraging me, and making me laugh. And of course, thank you to my fans. Those of you who leave positive comments, those who leave helpful criticisms, and those who have suggested never filmed malls. Thank you, thank you. Here's to another thousand subscribers and another 50 malls. You may notice I'm speaking really fast because it's time for a victory lap. Let's go.